Hello, and welcome to Johnson Elementary School. I'm Dr. Raymond, the principal of our school, and I am so excited for this preschool and kindergarten orientation. I want to welcome all of you to the Johnson School. I know this year is just a little bit different than others, but we're still excited to have you here. The teachers are really um, ready for you guys to come on in and meet them. Uh, for those of you new to the Johnson School, I want to let you know we have just about 400 students and over 80 caring staff members that are here to work with you to keep you safe and um, get you moving along on your academics. So welcome to Johnson School. Um, this morning you're going to have an opportunity to meet with your teacher to go over some of the safety protocols as well as curriculum and the daily schedule. So, welcome to the Johnson School. We're excited to have you here. Enjoy your first day of orientation and we'll talk to you soon. So we're in front of the Johnson School right now, and as parents, if you've chosen not to take us up on bus transportation, this is where the students would get dropped off. If you look out there is where the Johnson sign is, that's where you would enter the school parking lot. You would loop all the way around, and then come right up here and drop the student off. Now I know for preschool and kindergarten, it's very difficult to just kick them out the door and send them into the building. So if you feel like you need to get out of the car to help them un unpack and shut the door, we ask that you go find a parking spot and park the car. If they are able to just get out of the car on their own, out on the passenger side and shut the door, a quick kiss and go and then send them in. We will have staff members right outside here and inside the building to guide them where they need to go. We ask that you be very patient. A lot of people have chosen not to use transportation. Our parking lot does fill up very quickly and the line for drop off and for pickup is going to be longer extended time. So everyone needs to use patience as we work our way through the line in those first few days of school as we sort out parking and where people are going to be. We appreciate everyone's patience and flexibility and understanding as we work through this process. Thank you. So this is what one of our preschool rooms looks like. Now, don't panic, it's not completely set up, but what I wanted you to see is how we have the desk, desk set up so that they are socially distant. Again, where you see the bright colored papers is where the students will be able to sit, be six feet apart from one another, and still be able to be with the teacher. This room is currently set up to hold 10 students uh, safely. Also, you can look over here and see every classroom is supplied with hand sanitizer, paper towel and disinfectant for the teachers to be able to be cleaning the room on a regular basis throughout the course of the day, as well as the custodians coming through and cleaning throughout the day as well, both the classroom and the restrooms to maintain safety for the students. So this is our nurse's office here at Johnson Elementary School. Our nurse is Mrs. Weinstein and she's been trained in all the latest protocols for COVID-19. If you're first off as a parent, what we ask you to do is every morning fill out the survey in regards to your child's health and submit that online through the Genesis portal. Um, but out, throughout the course of the day, if your child does feel sick or ill, they'll be sent to the nurse's office from the teacher. She will do a follow through all the questionnaire and the protocols. And if your child needs to be picked up, we'll be reaching out to you immediately. If you have any questions about our protocols, please reach out to the nurse and call any time. She's more than willing to or email her and she'll reach out to you and get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. As you can see here, the Johnson School has proper signage throughout the building uh, so students can follow the posters in terms of wearing masks, proper social distancing, that is throughout the building. Additionally, you can see here in the hallways, we've put tape down the center, again, encouraging the students to walk on one side of the hallway one way. You can see the arrow signs indicating which way they should be walking down the hallway to keep themselves properly social distanced. So when students do come into the building, they will come immediately into their classroom so as not to stay in the hallway. Uh, teachers will be available in their rooms so no one will be congregating in the hallways to uh, ensure social distancing. Jackson School District Bus Safety Mascot. Here to tell you what it's like to ride in one of the buses that bring kids to school each and every day. And now, to share with you the most important thing to remember is one of my favorite bus drivers, Miss Sue. Take it away, Miss Sue. 
Hi, I'm Sue Girardi, and I'm one of the wonderful bus drivers that will be transporting your children to and from school this year. I'd like to take a minute to go over a few things that are important and safe for when you're riding on the bus. Make sure that you are out 10 minutes before the time on your bus pass. The buses could be early, they could get every traffic light and be late. If you're out 10 minutes early, you hopefully will not miss them. Put your children's name on everything that they bring on the bus to and from school. Book bags, books, lunch bags, anything that they bring, their name should be on. If you suddenly find you can't find something, don't be afraid to call transportation to ask if it's in our lost and found pile in the office or ask the bus driver if they happen to see it left on the bus. Make sure that you, the children use the handrail getting on and off the bus every time. They're to come in and kindergartners sit in the front of the bus. The older children sit in the back, unless it's a sibling. Then due to Corona, they will be sitting together. If it's a kindergartner, they will sit in the front in the kindergartner seat. The older children will walk to the back of the bus, leave an empty row in front of the last child in the back and fill the next available seat up, leaving one empty. When you get on the bus, everyone has to put their buckle on and wear their mask at all times. There's no eating or drinking allowed on the bus at any time. Backpacks should be kept on your lap, on the seat next to you or on the floor between your feet so that it's not in the aisle for anyone to trip getting on or off the bus. If there's any problems on the bus, make sure that you alert the driver when you're getting off so that they can address the problem once they know about it. It's hard when they're driving, they can't always hear if you're hollering for them from the back of the bus. If your child is crossing, especially a kindergartner, please allow the driver to be the one to cross them, even though you are there, because one day you might not be there and they're just gonna think it's okay to automatically cross, where the driver uses their mirrors to make sure that there is no traffic running the reds and in the way for them to cross. So when I pull up to the bus stop the, in the morning, the children should make eye contact with me so that I can check my mirrors and look, and then I will show them by a hand signal when it is safe and clear for them to cross the street to get on the bus. It's very important that you wait for me to know it's clear and give you that hand signal to cross the street. Remember the bus number that you come in to school on every day and one day if you don't see the bus where you think it should be, there should be a number on a card in the window that has your bus number and that will make it easier for you to know that it's your bus. If you're in doubt, Ask the bus driver, are you covering for whatever your bus number normally is? Do not unbuckle your buckle until the bus comes to a complete stop. Once the bus is stopped, you unbuckle and then you can exit the bus. We need to wear our mask the entire time from the minute you get on the bus till the minute you get off at home. And this year, even if you rode the bus to school, we're going to be getting off the bus at school a little different than we have in the past. We might have to sit on the bus and wait. We may discharge the students at a slower pace and do it in groups, one or two buses at a time. Thank you for listening and looking forward to seeing you at a bus stop soon. Thank you, Ms. Sue. It's super important that we have the right emergency contact information. So when you get your back to school forms, don't forget to make sure that all information is up to date. And if you have a special situation, or someone who isn't on your emergency list needs to get your child off the bus, don't forget to let your school know so we can make sure everyone stays safe. And because we are committed to keeping our buses safe and clean, there will also be some new cleaning protocols this year that I am super excited to tell you and your parents about. Our buses will be fully disinfected every night. In between every run, all high contact areas like the handrails and the seats will be disinfected. Also, whenever possible, we will open the windows on the bus. If any of your parents have questions, they can email or call the transportation department at the information below. Thank you so much for watching my video. Hello parents and welcome to Johnson Elementary School. I am Dr. Raymond, the principal of our school. Today is an excellent opportunity for you to meet your child's teacher and learn about the school and in particular your child's classroom. You will be informed on topics such as class schedules, routines, 
safety protocols, classroom management, as well as curriculum. As we continue into the school year, we encourage you to stay in contact with us at the Johnson School. Refer to your child's teacher's class page for updated information about the classroom. Visit the Johnson Backpack for flyers and general information, and go to the parent portal to view attendance and report cards. And of course, all of our staff members have email addresses so they could be reached individually. If you are new to the Johnson School or just have a question, please do not hesitate to give the main office a call. Nicole, Cheryl, and Trish are available to help you, and our reception desk is manned throughout the day. Please remember to bring your ID and mask when visiting the Johnson School in order to gain entry. While this may be an inconvenience at times, it is with the student's safety in mind. If you are in kindergarten, your child will have the opportunity to virtually engage in one of our fine arts classes. Students will participate in art, media, music, PE, and computers. Through projects and hands-on opportunities, the fine arts teachers use standards-based cross-curricular activities for students to enjoy. We have additional personnel on staff to work with students who need support in academic areas such as literacy and math. We also have personnel to work with students through emotional and behavioral concerns they may be having throughout the course of the school year. At the Johnson School, students are provided with daily reminders of what a person of good character looks like. Students requiring additional services, such as speech, occupational, or physical therapy, will be welcomed by a highly trained staff that works closely with you and our child study team to ensure that your child is getting the appropriate services. If you have any questions regarding our child study team, I encourage you to call Mrs. Siaccio in the child study team office. Here at the Johnson School, we put a strong emphasis on academic achievement. We equally stress the importance of student safety as well. Our building is outfitted with 11 internal and external cameras. Additionally, IDs are issued to all employees to gain access to the building. This year, we have security officer, Mr. Moser, on staff with us full time. As stated earlier in a video, but worth repeating, there are things you can do as parents to help ensure student safety as well. Please do not drop your child off prior to 9:10 in the morning because no staff is on duty. Drive slowly in the parking lot, being mindful of crossing students and park in designated spots. Please submit a note if dismissal procedures are changing for the day. And when coming to the school, please make sure to remember to bring your ID and mask. We have our vestibule in the front requiring you to go through a double set of doors for additional security. Students will not be released to anyone who is not listed on the emergency card. Please keep all forms current with your most updated information. The student handbook is online and I encourage you to view it for a more detailed list of school policies and safety procedures. Another way to ensure student safety is to communicate any concerns with the nurse about any allergies or illnesses your child may have. Be mindful of any allergies that may be in the classroom when you are packing your child's lunch. Our guidance counselor, Ms. Schnorbis, is the Johnson School Harassment, Intimidation, and Bullying Specialist. Mr. Schnorbis is responsible for investigating all scenarios involving bullying and reporting them to administration. A district and school initiative this year is to, be, is to implement a social and emotional curriculum. Every day, a daily health meeting will be held in the classroom to promote, to promote social and emotional well-being. We are off to a great start this year, and we welcome you to our school. Thank you. So welcome to Johnson's all-purpose room. This is where we do our gym, our assemblies, as well as our lunchroom. As you can see here, we currently have it set up as a lunchroom. If you look at the tables, they are all properly socially distanced. We have no more than 25 students in here at a time. Where you see the orange pieces of paper is where the students will sit so that they're six feet apart. Um, students are strongly encouraged to put money on their accounts prior to coming to school so that there's no exchange of money. We also encourage them to bring their own bag lunch, but if you do need to purchase lunch through us, it'll be purchased um, through the cafeteria and the lunch will be brought out to the students so they don't have to line up and pick, pick the food for safety precautions. Uh, we will have garbage cans um, on wheels that will come through so the kids are not getting up, not intermingling with one another. Students will be required to wear their masks on the way into the cafeteria, they will have washed their hands, not till they're sitting down will they take off their masks. 
and then exiting the cafeteria with the teacher, masks will be put back on again as they transition back to the classroom, all in the, um, in the name of safety and good measure. Our Johnson PTO would also like to welcome our new preschool and kindergarten students to the 2021 school year. We have a new executive board dedicated to making sure the transition into pre-K and kindergarten is easy and enjoyable as possible. For only $10 for a family membership, people can get involved in all different types of activities with our PTO. An information packet will be sent home during the first few days of school. Once we head to a more traditional model of education, hopefully by the middle of the school year, the PTO is responsible for funding our class trips, assemblies, and other educational experiences, such as guest authors, as well as sponsoring family fun nights and activities throughout the course of the year. We encourage you to get involved by joining and then also coming to meetings and volunteering. If you have any special talents or ideas for new events and fundraisers, we are welcome to any ideas. You'll be able to attend our general meetings, whether it be live or virtually, and all are welcome once membership, once you've signed up for a membership. We encourage you to get connected and join the HCJ PTO website. We also have a Remind app where messages can be sent out and a closed Facebook group to get involved in as well. I want to thank everyone for coming and I hope everyone has a great visit. If you need anything, we are here for you. Let's have a great school year. I want to thank all of you for coming out today for our preschool and kindergarten orientation. We appreciate you stopping in and trusting us with your child. We're excited for you to be here today and to start school in just a couple of days with us. I'll be around in the classrooms in just a few minutes. If you have any questions for me um, specifically, I'll be here to answer them. Have a great day. Thank you.